Hey guys, I am the Dog Father and welcome back to my channel. Now today we are poolside. We got some great weather at the beginning of November, so we're poolside cooking today. I know, don't be jealous, but hey, we're having a great time. So anyway, we are poolside guys and today we are doing seafood on the Weber Cattle. You with it? Let's get it. Uh, man, I tell you what, a lot of people ask me a lot of times for some seafood cooks, so this one is for you guys. All right, so as I said, we're using our Weber kettle today, guys, and we are going to be using uh, the Good Charcoal Company. We're going to be using their lump charcoal, fantastic company, doing some great things. This is the eight pound bag that I'm using today, and all the proceeds from these bags are going to uh, fund a facility in Georgia for you know, to feed the, the needy and things like that. So fantastic cause. So make sure you go check them out at your local Home Depot. Get online, order you some, uh, you know, good charcoal. You're gonna make good food, you gotta start with good charcoal, right? So anyway, so we're gonna get some seafood on today, guys. We're gonna get this uh, charcoal lit. And uh, hey, once we get the grill nice and hot, I'll bring you back, we'll get this cook started. So the first thing we're gonna do is we're gonna get our cast iron wok put on. And this is what I'm gonna be using. Uh, you can find these on uh, Amazon, this is where I got mine. And it fits in perfectly with these with this uh, grate that I've got here on my Weber kettle. So pull the insert out, put the uh, wok in, got the coals lit down there, perfect fit. So that's what we're gonna go with here, all right? So we're gonna give this just a few minutes to uh, get nice and hot, and I'll uh, bring you right back. All right, so while we've got our wok heating up on our Weber kettle, uh, I'm just gonna share with you, we are gonna be cooking some mussels. Uh, we're gonna be cooking mussels and shrimp. Uh, first in is gonna be our mussels though, guys. Now, uh, these mussels uh, I got from my local grocery store. Now, these are the frozen variety because my seafood department didn't have any fresh mussels at the time. I normally like to use fresh mussels, but hey, the frozen ones work just as great. So uh, these have already been washed, cleaned, uh, you're not really a lot to it here and I've got them in some water here that's gonna go great with getting into our wok so uh, that's gonna be our first component second component is gonna be some shrimp I uh, got my shrimp from my local Costco uh, they are already deveined for me uh, I leave the shells on because you know it holds in a lot of flavor especially when you have it rolling around in juices in your in your wok this is perfect for being that vessel to convey those flavors to you so i like to leave the shells on but um hey we got our wok nice and hot right now so let's get our muscles in here and let's get this cook going all right all right so the first thing in the pool is going to be the uh muscles that we have here and i told you guys it was nice and hot right all right so we got the muscles put in here we've got plenty of uh, that liquor from the uh, mussels here. And what we're gonna do to season this up, we're gonna be using some uh, Cajun Cuisine. This is the Creole seasoning, guys. Fantastic stuff. Uh, I've used it on the channel before, uh, but we're gonna probably put in here a couple of uh, tablespoons. And so I'm just gonna use my hands here and just kinda, you know, kinda guesstimate. Probably heavy, strong tablespoons, but that's all right. But we're going to get this moved around in here, guys, just like that. Now, next up is we're going to put some butter in here just to richen it up. And I didn't happen to chop it into sizes or small pieces. I just put it in as a stick. And we're actually going to put two sticks in here. And just kind of give this a stir around. All right, just like so. And we're just gonna let that kind of melt down and uh, come together. All right, guys, it's been about five minutes or so. We've been letting this kind of roll. And you can see we're doing really well. We've got a lot of our uh, muscles already opened up here. So, next thing we're gonna do is I've got some 
garlic here, some chopped garlic in the liquid. Just gonna kinda add that in here. Butter and garlic flavor, you know, absolutely works together. Okay, next thing we're gonna do is we're gonna go ahead and add the shrimp in. Now we've got a lot of shrimp here because uh, we're feeding a bunch of people here. And so we're gonna get this shrimp put in. And again, we're gonna add more of our Cajun seasoning, or Creole seasoning, I'm sorry. So we're gonna go in here pretty good with that. And we're gonna mix it around. Now guys, feel free to play around with this recipe and add what you want, take away what you want. You could absolutely add in, you know, hot sauce and peppers and you know, any kind of thing you want to. But this is just how we're gonna roll with it today. So we're gonna let this uh, kind of marry together and uh, we'll be back here in just a few minutes. All right guys, we've been rolling along here for about five minutes, so we're gonna take a look here and we're looking pretty good. We are just about there. We're gonna go ahead and get a little uh, lemon, a little fresh lemon squeeze on here. Get a little acid put in here. Kind of helps with that richness. And we're gonna kind of stir this around. Looking pretty good and smelling really good. All right, and one last little thing that I wanna do here is I wanna just give it a good sprinkle of our Creole seasoning right over top, just like that. And then we're gonna hit it with some parsley, guys. That's right, we're gonna add a little color here. Get the uh, fresh cut parsley on here. This is a flat leaf or Italian parsley, just like that. All right, we're gonna get this off the grill and let it cool down for us, let it rest. All right, guys, this cook is in the books. Uh, as you can see, this was a very simple cook. Uh, it took us about 30 minutes, really, to get this cook pulled together. So, I mean, anybody can do it. Very simple, very quick and fast. Smells fantastic. The presentation is fantastic, and it's guaranteed to wow your guests. So, only thing left for us to do is, man, let's give this a taste, all right? Let's check it out. All right, we got us a nice muscle right here. And uh, man, this is gonna be good. So, guys, before I take this bite, y'all know what I gotta do. If you enjoyed this video, you found some value in it, make sure you check out these videos I got listed right here and click that subscribe button up there and I'm gonna see you in the next video, all right? Peace.